Hi, I know factoring can be a very hard concept for everybody, and especially factoring trinomials. So what I'm going to show you is a method that you probably haven't seen before. It's not usually in your textbook, and it's called the X method factoring. So for example, suppose we want to factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, rather than trying to come up with some, um, some cute little shortcuts, I'm going to show you a method that will, you, that will work on any trinomial, okay, no matter what the numbers are, as long as that trinomial is factorable. So what we're going to do here is, let's come off to the side. Okay, we're going to draw an X. Okay. Now, we look at the coefficient of x squared, which is 2. Okay. How can we factor 2? That's 2 times 1. We put those numbers on the left side of the x, just as I'm doing there. Next, jump over the 7 and come to the 3. Now, how can you factor 3? Well, you could have a negative 3 times a negative 1, but that's not going to work here because we want to get a middle term that's positive. So how about we try a positive 3 times a positive 1? Now I'm going to do this incorrectly first so I can show you what it looks like when it fails. So I'm going to put the 3 on top on the right and the 1 on the bottom on the right. So you might say, well, I don't see any other numbers. But if this works correctly, when I form the products along the diagonals, I get 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 times 1 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. We want it to equal 7, the coefficient of the middle term. So you know what? While the 3 and the 1 may be correct numbers, it doesn't work for this case. So let's erase these. Now, let's try putting the 1 on top and the 3 on the bottom. And yes, that is important, the position of the numbers. Now, if I form the product along this diagonal, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 times 1 is 7. Sure enough, it gives us the middle coefficient. How do we translate this now into factors? Well, let's look at the top row, the 2 and the 1. That means 2x plus 1. Let's look at the bottom row, the 1 and the 3. Okay, That means 1x plus 3. x plus 3. And now, if you FOIL out 2x plus 1 times x plus 3, sure enough, you get the 2x squared plus the 7x plus 3. Okay. And that is an example of the x-method factoring.